Have you seen these hydrogen water bottle ads popping up all over social media recently, promising anti-aging, better sports performance, and more energy? Are they legit or is this a scam? In today's video, we're gonna take a deep dive. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about everything related to healthy aging. What is hydrogen water? It's just normal water that has extra hydrogen molecules added to it for health benefits. So how do these bottles work? So underneath, you've got a positive and a negative electrode. So when you run an electric current to connect them, the negative electrode generates a hydrogen gas. So if I push the button here, you'll see the gas bubbling up. This gas is odorless, colorless, and non-toxic. The FDA has approved this as safe. So the gas is releasing hydrogen molecules into the water. So this process is known as electrolysis, or also SPE, which stands for solid polymer electrolytic technology. Now that's a mouthful. These brands use a lot of jargon to market their products. Some of these bottled brands also have official hydrogen content certificates to give their products more credibility. So these bottles will work on normal tap water, on bottled mineral water. It's important to note that once the cycle's finished, you need to take the top off and drink it immediately. If you don't, then the hydrogen just goes off and it evaporates into the air and you don't get the health benefits. So let's look at some of these claims that these companies are making about hydrogen water. So number one, it's a powerful antioxidant. Hydrogen is the smallest and simplest molecule. It's made of two hydrogen atoms and they're joined together with a bond. This bond produces electrons that can neutralize free radicals. So yes, hydrogen is an antioxidant. Antioxidants neutralize disease-causing free radicals and protect against chronic diseases such as cancer, Alzheimer's, or diabetes. The other interesting thing about the hydrogen molecule is that it's so small, it can travel anywhere in the body that water can go, and it can even cross the blood-brain barrier, which means you get an antioxidant effect directly to your brain. In fact, one 2011 study showed that giving hydrogenated water significantly improved quality of life and reduced oxidative stress. You'll see these type of bottles on Amazon and on eBay, and they have like an image where it says, this has the same amount of antioxidants as 550 apples or 500 cabbages and stuff like that. So I'm not quite sure about those claims. Number two, it improves mood. A Japanese study in 2017 suggests that hydrogen-rich water may reinforce quality of life, including mood, anxiety, and autonomic nerve function. Number three, it promotes heart health. In one study out of China, drinking hydrogenated water for 10 weeks reduced bad cholesterol levels and improved good cholesterol and decreased markers of inflammation. Number four, it boosts physical performance. Hydrogenated water may be particularly beneficial for athletes or anyone wanting to take their exercise routine to the next level. In one Italian study, swapping regular water for hydrogenated water increased peak power out put in cyclists performing prolonged intermittent exercise. Several studies have also found that hydrogenated water could speed up muscle recovery after a workout as well. One study on 10 soccer players showed that drinking hydrogenated water improved exercise-induced decline of muscle function and reduced levels of lactate, which is used as a marker of muscle fatigue. And now let's look at the potential dangers of using these bottles. So as I mentioned, you've got two electrodes in here. One produces the hydrogen gas and the other one produces oxygen. Now a byproduct of that oxygen production is also chlorine and ozone, and you definitely don't want those byproducts going into your water. That would be extremely unhealthy. So when choosing one of these bottles, you wanna go for one that has PEM, dual chamber technology. The PEM stands for proton exchange membrane. So it's a physical barrier that separates the two electrodes. It allows the protons to pass through so the hydrogen gas can be created, but it stops the oxygen producing electrode from being in contact with the drinking water. Water, the ozone and the chlorine are expelled via a valve 
on the bottom of the bottle. Now, secondly, I've seen a few of these brands that mention DuPont as a manufacturer of this membrane. Now, for me, the brand DuPont is synonymous with Forever Chemicals. So they manufactured all kinds of water resistant and stain resistant products, which turned out to be toxic for us and for the environment. So which brand should you go for? Well, luckily for you, I've spent two months going down the rabbit hole, sending emails to these companies, asking them whether the membranes contain forever chemicals, asking them how they verify the amount of hydrogen in the water. And funnily enough, most of these brands didn't even respond to my emails. So the other thing I would point out is that when you look at these on Amazon and eBay, and there are reviews of them falling to pieces, leaking, being really bad quality. So I'd probably avoid getting them from those two sources. I recommend the Hydrogen for Health H2 Nano Bottle. You fill it with either tap, distilled or mineral water and push the button. It can either run for five minutes where it gives you 1.5 milligrams per litre of hydrogen or 10 minutes where it will give you 4.75 milligrams. You get eight five minute cycles with every charge and it charges via USB cable. The three reasons I use this particular bottle are firstly Hydrogen for Health are the only company who've conducted an independent analysis to confirm their bottle is not putting any forever chemicals into the water. Secondly these guys have been around since 2007 and the final reason is that you can use it to add hydrogen to any regular drinking bottle. You attach the plastic bottle and let it run. I'm not paid or sponsored by Hydrogen for Health. I found the website, I asked them loads of questions. I like the level of detail they give about the products. I like the fact that they did a PFAS analysis on the water, so I decided to feature them. I do have this discount code if you want to try one of these. I do get a small percentage from each sale using that code, which supports my channel, but these are my own opinions. The bottle comes in a couple of different colors. It costs $180, that's £142, and includes shipping, a one-year warranty, but best of all, you get a 60-day money-back period, so you can try it. 10 months of drinking hydrogen water, what are my results? Over these months, I felt super healthy. I haven't been ill, I felt my energy levels have been high. I would say in general, I felt great. However, I'm someone who's very much into health and wellness. I already take supplements and I exercise, I eat organic, so I don't have any particular health complaints that hydrogen water could address. For me, it's more about maintaining general health and wellness. I'm sure it's acting as an antioxidant in my body, but I can't say, wow, I feel great 100% due to this water. That would not be honest. I'd have to take blood tests and look at markers before and after to confirm that, and I haven't. I see drinking this water like taking vitamin D or vitamin C. I know it's doing my body good, even if I can't pinpoint the exact benefits. As long as I know it's not doing me any harm, then why wouldn't I try this? Well, I drink one bottle every morning with my supplements. When I go to the gym, I fill up a bigger bottle and I take that with me. If you have inflammation or some health concern, then you're more likely to notice a drastic improvement than I am. And if you check the comments under my other hydrogen water videos, you will see that there are so many people who are noticing big health improvements after using these bottles. So as a conclusion, there are some interesting and promising studies which have been done to show the potential health benefits from these products. This is a new area of research. There's no consensus on the optimal level of hydrogen that should be in drinking water and there's no official medical recommendations either. If you've tried hydrogen water, if you've got one of these bottles, please comment below and let me know whether you've actually had any health benefits for this. If you've got any questions or comments, please put them below. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.